All right, guys. As you can see, this is a just a disaster, just a total mess. Um, I don't cut the grass here, but uh, I'm just here to trim the bushes. So I'm gonna do that. As you can see, all this is just terrible. Um, I'm not gonna trim the crepe myrtles. He didn't want to, but I'm just gonna try to get it shaped up and looking better. So uh, let's get started. Alright guys, we're uh, here, we're uh, hacking out this uh, branch here out of this bush, um, and so doing my hedge trimmers, it's not the very best tool for this, but, um, you know, I was doing a bunch of stuff and I didn't want to go back to the truck, so I did hack it. Um, once you get used to doing it with it, it works pretty good, but, uh, yeah, this property, you know... We're just trimming it up, making it look a little better. Um, normally, we would trim these roses like foot or so off the ground on a lot of homes, um, but here we're just just trying to get just shaping them a little bit, getting them under control. Here, um, hacking a lot of this, all the stuff I could out of the, these juniper, um, and you know. It's not totally uh, perfect. Could be better if I really crawled down inside of them and cut it all out better. But again, um, they were just trying to get under control. They weren't um, trying to make it really perfect. So that's what I was doing. That's what I'm doing here at this thing. Um, yeah, this house is 45 minutes away from my house. Um, uh, you know, it's my pastor's mom's house, and so we're here just, and there's people renting it, and they're not really taking care of it, so, um, they call me in to try to help with it, and, uh, about once a year I go to his house, trim some bushes too, and, um, so, this is what we're doing, and, um, so, let me see. Here in a minute, we're going to get, uh, oh, still doing more of the same thing. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of this, I mulched up a lot of the bush clippings with the mower, uh, but a lot of that stuff you'll see in a second, the pile is kind of, uh, some of the things in the pile are like uh, things from the bushes or things from the, the roses and stuff. I'll hold those off because I don't know if they'll pop the tires on my mower or not. Maybe they wouldn't, but 
I didn't, I don't, I'm not sure about that because some of those thorns are pretty strong. And sorry about that. Hand on the camera there. I didn't bring this all the way back to the line, the edge, but I just, I did make it a lot better. And, um, which, you know, this was not part of the deal or anything. I just wanted to make, give it a little more curb appeal. And, um, so that's what I'm doing here with this weed eating. Um, thank you guys for watching my videos. Uh, it's very nice of you. And, uh, let me know if you've been liking my videos late here lately. Because I've been trying to make them more better. Um... And uh, just thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to turn the music back on. Let's see. How do I stop this? Right.
time to load this pile of stuff right there behind the mower. Alright guys, I'm uh, using my BG50 um, since I was at, in, in the big at the big city and uh, all that stuff. I didn't bring my backpack blower because uh, um, I figured I could do it with this and that way it would be one less thing to get st that could get stolen. So, um, so I brought this and I didn't have too many leaves as you can see. I mean, it's just some stuff here and there. So, and it works great. I like the BG50. If it's hot, it kind of has a hard time starting. But if it's cold, you can uh, put it on choke and hold the full throttle. You put it on choke, then hold full throttle, pull it, and it'll start to fire. And while it's kind of burbling, starting to crank up, just take it off choke, and then you're good. But And just keep your hand on full throttle. And then it'll just like open right up the throttle wheel. And then it runs good after that. So, um, so I still like this blower. I've had it for almost two. Well, I think, I think it's two years now. I think two years. And uh, it's a great little blower for the money for one thirty hundred thirty nine dollars. I really think that it's a really good buy for it. So, thank you for watching. And, uh, let me see. Yep, so we're doing some blowing. Blowing, blowing. And, um, and there's so much trash at this house out in the yard. Fill up, like, two trash cans. Well, and it's, there's still some, like, in the beds and stuff like that. But it's better than it was. So... But, yes, I would still recommend this blower. I think it's great. I think it's great for the price. There is a new Echo one, too, that they came out with that's like $10 more. That was at the Expo this year, and that one was really good. So, but I like this one still. All right, hang All on, right, guys. guys. So, rolling up on it now. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot, lot better. Um still not perfect but uh it looks super good and uh so anyway the what the deal is with this yard now let me roll up this window <coughs> breathe some dust or something so what the deal is with this yard is uh my pastor's mom is elderly and so now it's being rented out and uh and so as you can see it was just a mess and so all we we're trying to do is just get it back down to manageable so it's not perfect but i mean it it looks nothing the same like it did so um i really wanted to do a good walk around at the end but there's the people that live there were out playing in the yard and stuff and so uh so i didn't do that but anyway um that's it so see ya Alright guys, we got some chicken nuggets, we got some fries, and we got a couple cheeseburger too. So, doing good, and I wanted to give a shout out to Chris's Yard Service. Um, I want to try to pretty often, you know, give a shout out to, you know, different random channels, like you guys' channels and stuff. So, make sure you comment on my videos and, uh, you know, all that, just to let me know you're there and uh can watch your videos if you have a video that you you think is really good and you want me to see it um put a link to it down in the uh in the comments so and i'll put a, a link in the description to chris's channel so hope y'all are doing good let's help each other out you help me i'll help you grow our lawn channel so thank you